VMAC hydraulic driven air compressors come with the most advanced intelligent digital control system available. The digital control module controls system startup and operation and monitors air pressure, hydraulic and compressor temperatures. It also saves the programmable settings, hours used and error codes. Another important component is the digital display box, which is a remote mounted LCD used to turn the system on and off, observe system status, system hours, service reminders, and safety and functional messages, making it easy to troubleshoot. The digital display box is also used to adjust default system settings, including delay to standby, restart pressure, and system pressure. To adjust these settings or to troubleshoot the system, enter diagnostics mode. When the system is off, hold the off button for five seconds until the word diagnostics appears on the screen. The display will scroll through the headings. When the headings appear with the settings that you want to adjust, press the on button. Scroll through the available options using the on and off buttons. To save and exit the settings, press and hold both the on and off buttons. To exit diagnostics mode, press and hold both the on and off buttons again. Once you've started your hydraulic system, you can start the compressor by simply pressing the on button on the digital display box. The intelligent digital controls will take care of the rest, displaying messages on the display screen as it works. With built-in cold climate protection, during the initial startup, VMAX hydraulic driven air compressor will follow a series of steps, depending on hydraulic and compressor oil temperatures. If the hydraulic oil temperature is below minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 25 degrees Celsius, the green light on the display box will blink slowly, and a message will appear on the display saying that the hydraulic oil is too cold. Operators will need to preheat the hydraulic oil, as it is too cold for the compressor or VMAC cold climate manifold to activate. If the hydraulic oil temperature is between minus 11 and plus 5 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 24 and minus 15 degrees Celsius, the green light on the display box will blink slowly and a message will appear on the display saying that the hydraulic oil is warming. If there's a cold climate manifold installed, it will automatically engage to warm the hydraulic oil. If the hydraulic oil temperature is above five degrees Fahrenheit, minus 15 degrees Celsius, the air compressor will activate and enter soft start mode. If there is a VMAC cold climate manifold installed, it will automatically disengage. In soft start mode, the air compressor will begin to warm the compressor oil. During the first stage of soft start, the system is limited to approximately 40 PSI. When the compressor oil reaches 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius, the system enters the second stage of soft start. The compressor will load up but will limit air pressure to 120 PSI until it reaches normal operating temperature. Normal operating temperature is when the compressor oil reaches 158 degrees Fahrenheit, 70 degrees Celsius. Once the system reaches normal operating temperature, it will build to max system pressure in CFM. The system will monitor various parameters, including compressor and hydraulic oil temperature and air use. When no air use is detected, the system will unload the compressor, which in turn removes much of the hydraulic load. Lower hydraulic load results into lower hydraulic heat generated. While the air compressor unloads, noise levels are also reduced. After a further period of no air use, the system will switch from unload mode to standby mode. The factory delay is two minutes. However, this is adjustable from 30 seconds to 30 minutes or never. Effectively, in standby mode, the compressor is shut down, producing no noise and no load on the hydraulic system, which further reduces heat. Once the operator starts using air again, the compressor will automatically restart, generating the air required. VMAC provides important standard safety features with its hydraulic-driven air compressors, including compressor and hydraulic overheat shutdown, cooler bypass check valve, automatic rapid blowdown valve on the separator tank, 200 PSI air pressure relief valve, 2800 PSI hydraulic pressure relief valve, automatic cold climate protection.